So this used to be my grandpa's camera. He took it everywhere with him and sh shot all kinds of pictures. We lost my grandpa one year ago this Sunday. Being that today would have been his birthday, I'm gonna put some film in it and put some life back into this old camera. A little something different today. So I'm gonna get it set up and I'll bring you back. All right, I got a red-bellied woodpecker right here. Well, I had one, where did it go? That doesn't put the <laughs> photography. This old tripod is junk. Got a little muddy. Of course, my grandpa was here. He'd say, you stupid boy? Don't you think, boy? You use your brain, boy. Then he'd walk down to the end of his driveway and get an old newspaper that's been sitting in a mud puddle and beat me with it like I forgot to do my chores on Monday. Now the tripod won't close. To hell with that thing. I'm gonna continue this video when I get into the tripod because I don't really trust this one anymore. So I got this. This is the Interrail RT80C. It's a carbon fiber and aluminum bowl tripod. And I got some specs here I'm gonna read for you because I don't remember all of them. It's got a maximum load of 44 pounds, completely closed, it's 21 and a half inches. Uh, fully extended, it's 63 inches tall. That, that's five foot three inches. Yeah, so look at the size of this thing, it's massive. The camera would be way up here. It only weighs 3.3 pounds. It's very light. Um, ignore the head that I have on here. I'm still reviewing that and I'm gonna do a review video over this gimbal uh, later on. It's a bowl tripod with a 65 millimeter adapter. I'm not gonna pretend that I know what that means because I don't. This is the first one I've ever had like it. You can use it with or without the bowl and I'll show you how that works in a second. It's got these uh, twist locks for the legs. And you can see the carbon fiber pattern. You can use these screws here to adjust the tension on the legs. They're pretty stiff when you get it, but it's not so bad once you adjust them. It's got these little aluminum clips for moving the legs. The legs will extend flat and lock into place. So you can have it like that if you needed to. It comes with this case. And the case feels great, but the zipper concerns me. The zipper just feels cheap, like it's eventually gonna wear out. But if you got a head such as I do on the tripod, it doesn't fit in the case, and I don't ever use the case, so who cares? It comes with these spikes for the legs. So if you're like on uh, soft terrain, you want it to dig in and hold steady. It comes with an extra uh, mounting plate for if you don't wanna use the bowl adapter. And it's got tools to make all the adjustments. And a few extra screws are in there too. So here's the bowl adapter on the tripod. Let me get it in the camera there. This little screw right here. You can loosen this and you can move this around like so. But why would you want to do that? Say you're on an uneven surface, say a rocky terrain or bleachers at a sports game. And you got your tripod up like this and now you lose your horizontal axis. But if you adjust the bowl to level it back out, you can now have the uneven tripod with a horizontal axis as well. It's great. All right, so if you like to use the spikes instead of the rubber pads for the feet, I'll show you how to change those out. They just unscrew, and then you screw in the spiked foot. Me, I just prefer the rubber pads. And if you look, Everything is greased. See the grease in there? Everything moves smooth and easy. So this tripod, I'm loving it so far. I've been using it for two months solid. Um, it's going for $189.99 right now on Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description to take you right to it. And they currently have a $10 off coupon with it, so it's kind of hard to pass up. So I think this is the best carbon fiber bowl tripod you can find on Amazon right now based on the price, I mean, compare it to other carbon fiber bowl tripods, and this one comes in quite lower than most. So I'll put a link down in the description if you wanna check it out. I'm completely satisfied with this tripod, and I think you will be too. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please stay tuned for the next review I'm gonna do over this gimbal that I have on here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. 
and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'll put the link on the screen and in the description. I post a new wildlife picture every day. Thanks for watching.